God bless you and peace of God be unto you once again. My brothers and sisters, I want to share with you the vision God showed me about Leveling H. E. Kembaka. I am not sharing this message with you that you should hate him, but I am sharing it that you will pray for him, that you will make intercession prayer for him, that you will pray that the Lord will arrest him by, that the Lord will change his life, that the Lord will bring deliverance in his life, that the Lord will save him because your player can save him. My player can save his soul. Your player can save my soul. My own player can save your soul. That is why God said that we should be our brother's keepers. That we should help our brothers and sisters by making intercession prayer for each every one of them. By praying that the Lord will give them the grace to give their life back to Christ. By praying that they will repent from the wicked way. That is the reason why I am sharing this message. That every one of you will pray for Father A.G. Kempaka. Because what the Lord showed me about him is mystery. Showing that he's no longer doing the work of God. Showing that he's no longer a man of God. He's no longer doing what God called him to do. He's now serving human beings and materialism. The things of the earth, no more God. My brothers and sisters, play for him. God will reward you. And God showed me a vision in which many people we are coming to worship with Father H.E. Kembaka in the night of adoration. And I saw Levelin H.E. Kembaka with many people. Cover the face with marks and musculate escorting them, musculate circle them. And the word of God came to me, man of God, what have you seen? And I say unto the Lord, I saw many people coming to worship with Father A.G. Kembaka in the night of adolescence. But after that, I saw. Father, he came back up with many people covered the face with marks and musculate escorting them, musculate circle them. All of them coming to the night of adoration. And God said to me, do you know what that means? I answered, oh Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, many people that Cover the face with marks and sickly cut evil leaders in Nigeria, occultic leaders, evil people, and the masculine I saw circle them. Means the mambe, the ghost may be handsome men that are serving mambe as central protective power. The God the forefather serve is what the truth to serve. That I have seen many occultic leaders that control the life of Father A.G. Kembaka. Many occultic leaders in Nigeria. Many occultic leaders, many leaders that have Father A.G. Kembaka have allowed them to control life because of the things of the earth, because of the money, because of materialism. That is no longer serving him, but is serving them. They direct him, they instruct him. They speak to A.G. Kembaka, not Jesus speaking to him again. The word of God said to me, what you saw is the evil spirit. That overcomes Father A.G. Kembaka to speak lies in my name. That overcome him to speak lies in my name. To say, to say the Lord what God did not say. To put confusion and distraction in the life of people. To leave people in the land of darkness. To make them accept the occultic leaders of Nigeria. 
Father Edgy came back, uh, is possessed. Possessed with evil spirits. Because of selfish desire, because of selfish interest, because of the things of the earth. He loved the things of the earth more than my world, more than my power. He's now chose to rule with the leaders of the earth and abandon my world. And God said to me, For the age he came back and prophesied lies in my names. I have not sent him, I appointed him, or speak to him. He is prophesying to you for silly vision and divination according to his own mind, according to those who give him money, according to those who give him contract, according to the desires of the leaders of Nigeria, the desires of rulers in Nigeria. Politics and government have ate God's anointing in the life of Father A.G. Kembaka. Politics and government have eaten God's anointing in Father A.G. Kembaka's life. He's no longer a man of God, but a man of politics and government. He's no longer a man of God, but a man of politics and government. He's no longer preaching about the coming of Jesus. He's no longer preaching about repentance. He's no longer preaching about the coming of Jesus. He only preached about chairman local government. He only preached about governor. He preached about governor. He preached about senator. He preached about president. He only preached about politics. He doesn't even rebuild them to repent. He doesn't even tell them the truth. He only possessed by the lies. According to the word of God in the book of Jeremiah 14, verse 14. God said to me, Mbaka are prophesying lies in my name. I have not sent him or appoint him or speak to him. He's prophesying to you for silly vision. Father Mbaka, stop lying to your member. Stop lying to people. Stop lying to your congregation. Stop lying to people. Preach about the coming of Jesus. May the kingdom of God your mission. May the kingdom of God your desire. Father Mbaka, if you don't repent, if you are not born again, you will never have a place in the kingdom of God. If Pastor Milako, if I did not repent, if I am not born again, I will never secure heaven. I will never have a place. I will end up in hellfire. And that is why I have to tell you the truth. Stop lying. Stop telling them that God sent this man. That God do this. Stop lying in the name of Jesus. Play the gospel. Come closer to the Lord. Give your life back to Jesus. Repent from your wicked way. Remove yourself. A man will call himself a man of God. A reverend father can never be a friend to a secret court people. You can never be a friend, a friend of a cultic man or woman. You can never allow a cultic man or woman to rule you. You can never be a friend to a secret court, a, a member of Oboni fraternity, a member of a secret court, or members of Mami Water, but i say why. No, the word of God said light and darkness have nothing in common. If you are a man of God, you must be a friend to the word of God, a friend to the power that rose or rotted Jesus from the dead, a friend to Jesus. The word of God said a friend of the world is an enemy of God, but a friend of Jesus is an enemy of the world. <coughs> Reverend Father, H.E. came back up. Why can't you dream about the kingdom of God? Why can't you prophesy about the coming of Jesus? Why can't you make the kingdom of God your bishop on earth? Why can't you love the word of God more than politics, more than the, the, the contract of governor and president, more than the money, more than the things of the earth, more than materialism, more than any other thing, more than lies, more than any other thing. You should love the kingdom of God more than the world and the things in the world. Reverend Father F.G. Kimbaka, 
Do not forget that Jesus Christ is coming very soon. So please the salvation and repentance of Jesus of Nazareth in your church, in your adoration class, to other people on earth, to president, to governor, to senator, to lawmakers in Nigeria. Preach about the salvation of God. Tell them, report them, tell them to repent from the wicked way, Father Eji Kempata. Never you be afraid to the wicked one. Stop lying to these people, your members. You are leading them to the land of darkness if they continue following your footsteps. If they continue following and accepting what you say, you need to teach the word of God to them. They need to secure a place because God has made you a leader to them. Preach them the word of God. Tell that senator, that president, that governor, that president candidate to repent from the wicked one and accept Jesus as the Lord and your personal savior. That is your mission as a man of God or a lovely father or bishop or whatever you call yourself. Father, Eji came back up. Jesus is coming very soon. Jesus is coming very soon. Do not say that I didn't want you. Because the word of God I preach to you today will be a witness against you in the day of judgment. No matter what God used you to do on earth, if you did not repent, if you did not achieve the kingdom of God, all is vanity. You need Jesus. Father H.E. Kembaka, you need deliverance. You need deliverance. That the Holy Spirit of God that in the name of Jesus will deliver you from evil spirit, from spirit of lying, from saying to say the Lord, from speaking on your mind, from promoting evil, evil leaders in Nigeria. You need Jesus to deliver you. Free yourself from the bondage. Free yourself from the bondage that shall be well with you. And the members of his church must surely know that for the age he came back, I can only lead you to the kingdom of God. Only the word of God. Only when you serve God, the spirit and the truth. Not for the age he came back, he can never lead you to the kingdom of God. You need to advise yourself. You need to open your heart. You need to open your mind. You need to accept Jesus. You need to serve Jesus in spirit and the truth. If you want to secure a place in the kingdom of God, there is nothing like had I know in the day of judgment. I don't know that all he's telling me is right. I don't know that the Spirit of God have departed from him. Remember the song of Mbaka. There is one song Mbaka sing. He said, Me wachi le kebidori me ma ni kene bubene soya. Manambe wachi le ke kusiri me ma ni kene bubene ala. That is what is happening in the life of Mbaka now. The day he stopped doing good, he stopped serving God, the Spirit, and true. The day he allowed the things of the earth to possess him, in the day the Spirit of God depart from him. That is why he had to collect himself, he had to surrender his life back to the leadership of Jesus. He said, Be well with you. I am not against you, Father Edgy Kempaka. I love everyone, I love everyone on earth, but I'm against evil spirit. I speak according to the word of God. God bless you and peace of God be unto everyone that listen to this message and put it in practice and pray that that soul will be saved because that is our mission. Intercession prayer is important, brothers and sisters. God bless you and peace of God be unto you.